All right, so let's talk about ginger. It's one of the uh, most important ingredients I use to boost my immune system. And it's very important for the respiratory uh, system as well. Uh, sometimes it's even uh, essential for people that have asthma or uh, lung problems. Yes, it's very good for cold. Uh, it's very good if you have a virus to... It's a rom home remedy, yes. Uh, it's difficult to take ginger in, a, in its raw form because the taste is not good. Uh, I am used to put ginger in the smooth with many fruits and everything and honey, but it takes me about 15 minutes to do the smooth or 17, something like that. And sometimes I don't have the time to do the smooth or even I don't have the time to spend eating and drinking the smooth together because it's a smooth with no water. So it's very thick that I drink with a tablespoon, something like that. So I decided to brew or if you want to say fermented the ginger on raw honey. And it's very easy. So let's go and check out how easy it is. So the first thing I did here, I took this container. This is the same container of this bottle of honey. And then I top it with a uh, till here with pieces of ginger. So I left about 25%, 30% of the container left without anything. The reason for that is that after slicing ginger until here, I top it with uh, raw honey and then close it the lid and the there this, the process of fermentation started. So you need to leave space for the bu uh, bubbles of uh, gas from the fermentation to be in the container for the next day for you to open and the gas to escape. So uh, for the first week, what you need to do is open this container every day. So what you want to do for not forgetting is leaving this container in the kitchen, perhaps, and cover uh, with a cloth, with a kitchen cloth or something like that to protect against light. Yes, as it is a fermentation process, it needs to be done in the dark. So once again, what have I done here? Just put it, just slice it uh, ginger until this part of the container, top it with honey, left 30% of the container without uh, as a space for the bubbles to be there. And then I open it every day for the first week. On the second week, I start opening uh, for about four times a week, the third three times a week, and the fourth, just like two times a week, I start open it. And then I left two more weeks and open it just one or twice. How does it get? It gets like a sweet. You know the sweet you buy in the supermarket? That's the... It's very liquid here. So it, it, the, the honey doesn't have the consistency anymore. Yeah, it's very liquid. So in this stage, it's easy to take raw. I just take a piece together with the liquid, liquid and eat it. It's possible to eat. It's not that hard to eat. It's good uh, comparing to raw uh, ginger. Yes, this is the best way to take ginger if you're not putting the smooth. Because if you put in the tea, you're gonna probably waste a lot of ginger. Yes, yeah, just gonna, you know, 
uh, use the liquid and waste everything else yes so this is it guys it's very easy to ferment ginger it's very very easy to take it you just need to remember in the first week to be open every day and put it in a dark spot of your kitchen this should be the best yes thank you very much hit the subscribing but subscribe button bye bye see you guys